I'm Moit, Cynthia Abbas here, and um, right now I'm at my brother's house here, yeah, I'm just looking after my niece and nephew. Okay, so I've been think thinking about, about a few things, like a few comments here that I've been getting here yeah, from um, some of you guys. A lot of bit, little people have been saying to me, yeah, so Temp, when are you going to re review Resident Evil 6? You know, some people think I've actually got Resident Evil 6 already. Um, <laughs> I know that I am a Resident Evil fan, and I know that people think that because of that, yeah, I've already got Resident Evil 6. Uh, let me just let you guys know yet, yeah, I haven't got Resident Evil 6 yet and I'm planning not to get it and the reason the reason, and the, re and the reason why I'm not planning to get it yet is because of um, you know I've basically just um, I've, got, I've got to the point where I've had enough of DLC and all that myself right yeah I remember um, when Resident Evil 5 came I bought Resident Evil 5 straight away and uh um, basically the game's um, then the game had a lot of um, DLC stuff on it and with that had extra levels and everything that year and I actually went and bought some of those um, extra DLCs and everything that as well because I really did like those extra parts of the game but then then came um, Resident Evil 5 Gold Edition and had all of those on there anyway so it technically means I've just wasted money, you know. And to be very, very honest, um, Resident Evil Six didn't look that fantastic for me to say, "Rah, let me get it now." I can't wait to get for the bloody gold edition. So um, I've actually decided to uh, um, wait for if there's going to be a gold edition or game a year edition that's going to have all the DLCs on it because a lot of people have been telling me already that there's free mercenary in the mercenary mode there's free maps and the DLC is going to have free extra maps you know and I'm pretty sure there's probably going to be even more stuff in it as well so I've decided to wait for let's say another gold edition or whatever edition they could come out with next year I'm pos I'm 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 kind of positive they're gonna. I'm kind of. Um, sh I'm confident that they they're probably gonna do something like that again next year. So I've just decided not to bother with it now, especially when you know quite a lot of people know might might know yeah from my. Um, uh, some people may know yeah from Facebook or from my PSN that I've changed my PSN name my PSN name used to be AC box but now I've switched it to Tempview Ibis and basically I've been um more or less getting all the trophies that I used to have I've been reclocking all the games I've been getting them all over again and I've got so much games at my ass already that I need to clock them all over again and there is a few more games that I'm actually interested in the more that I'm more hyped for that I'd like to get those games first to be honest that really Resident Evil 6 can easily be just put behind the back at the moment the one thing I can give you guys though is my thoughts on playing the demo of Resident Evil 6 back in my other video of Resident Evil 6 yeah I was saying that I predicted that it was going to be a game that I'll probably well will hate as a Resident Evil game but love just love the game itself and after playing the demo um, that seems to be the the case, except for the fact that I really hate the controls in this game. The controls seem kind of weird, you know. It, you know, it, I I really <laughs> I was playing I was playing the game. It looks like the game's going to take some next le next level of getting used to, but um, but 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 um. It, I guess the game may not be completely 100% overall ba bad in the sense of just a game but as a Resident Evil game I can see it just not being all that really and I saw some of the ratings that it got yeah when I heard um, GameSpot gave it 4.5 I was like wow I, if I have to be totally honest I don't think it probably would deserve that bad I must. I know it's not a, a a Resident Evil game. It's not like survival horror, like what it's supposed to be. But 
I mean, usually I don't rate I don't I don't rate um games based on that. I usually rate games on if I felt like it was a well produced game, you know. So I, I'm not really sure. I'm oh, sorry, I thought, I thought the thing was cutting off. Yeah, so um, that's more or less um what I got to say about uh after playing the demo. Um, after like playing Leon's campaign, I was kind of enjoying that. Playing um Chris and Jake's campaigns, it kind of was a bit boring for me in the sense of it just looked like Gears of War. One of the actual sites, the place, the background, should I say, in um Chris's place, just made it look like Call of Duty to me. And I'm thinking to myself, what is the point? Why? What? And the fact that the Resident Evil, the fact that the um, the makers, I heard, I heard that they said that they were actually trying to call out such Call of Duty fans. That, in my opinion, is a bad move. It's a bad move. Just, you know, it's like make your game. Get all Resident Evil fans, then say then say goodbye to the Resident Evil fans just to bring in new fans. It doesn't make sense to me. You know, th- those things are sort of mini reasons and everything that why I'm not really getting Resident Evil Six now. But like I said, the main reason, because even if I did love the game and everything and all that, yeah, I probably still would have just not bo- bothered by the game, yeah, because I've got to the point where I've had enough of all this DLC crap and everything that, yeah. And I've got to the point where I've stopped buying them myself. There's actually DLC coming out here for Tekken Tag Tournament 2. And I'm probably not even going to buy that. Even though it's a character that I really want. You know, I've I've just had enough of the, the DLC. DLC was such a fantastic thing when, when it was um, Wipeout Pure. You know, because it was like, rah, we're going to get more of the games. But now these guys are relying on it to make more money. So I've had enough of DLC. And... Um, Resident Evil 6, I'm just think, I'm thinking, yeah, that it's just going to be another one of those cases. There's going to be a gold edition later on, a game of year edition, and I will probably will just get that. Yeah, probably when that gets cheap as well, you know. But as for now, I'm going to enjoy um, other games like the ones I need to do all over again. There's a new game coming out here called, um, I think it's out already as it goes. It's called Tokyo Jungle. That's a game I've always wanted to get. That game was actually... That game seems a damn lot more interesting to me. Yeah, damn lot different, damn lot more original, and definitely want to get that game. I was playing a demo of a game called Warp the other day, and I thought that game was pretty funny. That game, <laughs> it was like started off looking like some cute little puzzle game, then turned into some next violent action, well, like action puzzle game. Yeah, where you now you're starting to see all deaths and blood and swearing, and I thought, wow, it just it just switched from this to that. What a switch that game had, you know. And um, yeah, that's about that's about it, really. So, uh, so that's that's all that's what I wanted to say, really. I haven't got Resident Evil Six yet. I'm not planning to get Resident Evil Six right now. Yeah, um, we'll have to see what happens later on. But um, right now, I'm just enjoying myself at my brother's house. UFC One Fifty Three is going to be tonight. It's going to be a big, big, big event. Yeah a match that's probably going to be a match making in the history really so I'm not really sure what else to say on this one but um, that's what I've got to say guys yeah so um, thanks very much I'm not sure what video will come up with next and all, and all that but um, hope you guys cool tell me what your thoughts on Resident Evil 6 and um, like if you guys are liking the game or hating the game I know some of you guys are going to say yeah no don't you ever buy it <laughs> Nah, I will. I will buy the game. I will. When it does a gold, a gold edition or something. When it comes out of an edition that has all of the DLC in there. And I'm thinking I might do another video later on on DLC as well. Yeah, a bit more, a bit more in detail about DLC. Because I want to respond to one of my friend's videos. So, but that's all for now though, guys. Yeah, so thanks very much. I'll speak to you all later. Love who you are.